Hey people of UP, at Ultimate Peace Camp we have five values which are mutual respect, friendship, integrity, nonviolence, and fun. Now we have Steph here who's going to explain them in a little bit more of a fun and interactive way. Ultimate Peace Camp we have five values and we like to give high fives so here we go. One, we've got fun. Two, we've got mutual respect. Three, we've got nonviolence. Four, we've got integrity. And five, we've got friendship. Thumbs up. I'm having a really great time and you're doing a good job so keep it up. Peace. Ultimate Peace. We've got mutual respect and nonviolence. Quiet Coyote. Happy Quiet Coyote. We've got mutual respect and we've got friendship. Hanging out and having a good time with our friends. We've got fun and we've got friendship. Pinky promises with our friends. That's friendship. And in American Sign Language we've got the letters I this is L and this is Y which is I love you becomes I love you which is fun mutual respect and friendship I have five values coming at you did you catch all of that no worries if you didn't the most important part is you remember what the five values are if you want to read a little bit more we have posted it in the description of the YouTube video so now that you know what the five values are we have Jacob and Rachel who are going to explain how to implement these values on a day-to-day -day basis at camp, and also how these values are integrated into all things ultimate peace all year round. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Jacob Barr, inventor of the forehand. I didn't like that ending. Hi, I'm... <laughs> I'm Jacob Barr, Rachel Winner's biological father. A take, take three. The man who opposed and beat Adam Shimoni in the 2016 Flagstaff election. Inventor of calling frisbees biscottis. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jacob Barr, founder of Ultimate Peace, and I would say that the number one method we use for incorporating the five values into our coaching is by focusing on one value. It's very easy to have a practice or a simple drill or activity and say, oh, this is friendship, fun, and integrity, and mutual respect, and nonviolent all at the same time. But that's not really helpful because then the kids aren't really learning the value, they're just playing the game. So instead, we'll pick one value and focus on it for the whole practice. And we'll tell them in the beginning and we'll bring it up again at the end. And we'll say, you know, today's practice is all about integrity. And so in each game that we play, we'll be very heavy on the rules and on enforcing the rules yourself or on making sure that you don't cheat and making sure that when there's an opportunity to get away with something, you don't take it and that teaches integrity and yes they're having fun and they're respecting each other and they're not being violent but these things just have to be assumed or, or pushed aside uh, because you need to highlight this one so a good way to incorporate the values into coaching at camp would be in the beginning of the day say hey today is fun day and then everything you do you're really only stressing the fun that you're having while doing this activity or game or exercise or drill and if it's a um, nonviolent day, then that day where everything you're working on, you're stressing how they handle the conflicts and how they handle disagreements and how they're being nonviolent. Um, it's, it's easy to say, well, every day is nonviolent day, and that's true because the kids should never be violent at camp. However, uh, just saying every day is every value day isn't really teaching the kids anything. I'm here to talk to you about Ultimate Peace Ultimate. And the main point I want to send to you before y'all show up here at camp is that Ultimate Peace Ultimate is not just about teaching forehand and backhand. It's really uh, seen as a whole package. So when I go to a practice, I am thinking about a value that I want to include, but also other aspects of the game that they could transfer to their daily life. So we talk a lot about communication style and how to convey that you are having a challenge with a fellow player or with an opponent in a healthy and respectful way. We talk about relationship building. We talk about critical thinking. So for example, like if you are um, looking at the field, how do you create space in a unique way and how might that pertain to um, experiences in your life off the field? We get more into that in the LAT program, but I try to bring some of those relational awareness, communication skills, etc., into daily practice as well. Now that you know quite a bit about our values and how to implement them, we're going to teach you two of our hand signals that you'll see all the time at camp. Hi, I'm Jacob Barr, inventor of the Kids Drink the Shirley Temple. With me are Ultimate Peace coaches Joe and Rachel, and we're here to talk about some things that new coaches might not recognize 
upon first entering camp. First of those things is spirit fingers. Spirit fingers can look like this, or like this, or like this. Spirit fingers are a way to silently show your appreciation and support for something. And a lot of times someone will be talking or presenting or demonstrating something, and while breaking into applause or cheers or whistles would distract from that, give them some spirit fingers, show that you supported, that you're listening and appreciated and you admire what's going on, but are not distracting or taking away from the actual content. The next thing is the silent coyote, which looks like this and like this. The silent coyote means it's time to be quiet and some, something's happening. So if you see that, you see this guy, it's best to 